<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to Ryan Irwin's Patent Engineering blog, and today I'm going to be talking about AVX and Great Batch Limited. A Delaware court decided to abandon their $37.5 million worth of damage from patent infringement. Uh, welcome back, it's week four. We're really starting to delve into patents and what makes them unique from uh, other patents and how you can build on top of them and this case really delves into the details of patent infringement and what is technically original property. Um, so basically AVX filed paperwork to say that um, Great Batch Limited could have lowered their prices because what happened is Great Batch claims that AVX's products were unfairly priced and thus Great Batch had to lower their prices. Um, basically, eight jurors ruled that AVX infringed on Great Batch's patents and then awarded them $37.5 million. But uh, now they're trying to file paperwork to have this abandoned. The 27 of that $37.5 million comes for uh, damages for unfairly cutting its prices. Um, U.S. District Judge Leonard Stark received a letter from AVX in February claiming that Great Great Batch sold infringed products at a price that is said to be two to three times higher than it said it had sold its products. Uh, the main part of the claim for the infringement comes with Green Batch's claim that AVX's production and sale of alternative components for medical devices, which include pacemakers. AVX says that Great Batch's claims are late and faulty and that it is Great, great Batch's choice to spell the pro sell the products at a lower price. Uh, the specifics in detail of the patents they infringed on are U.S. patent number 5,333,095, which restricts the sale of a filter capacitator. And the other key one is U.S. patent number 5,905,627, which is for internally grounded ceramic feeders through filter capacitors. And basically, these are medical technology devices that are very expensive and um, Great Batch uh, wants uh, AVX to uh, pay out, uh, they got them to pay out this money and AVX says that Great Batch should have just sold it at the lower price like they did. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing you next week. Thanks for tuning in.